Good morning, everyone. And uh, welcome to the Tel Aviv Tsinghua uh, Shin Center's second uh, winter school on physics at the edge from topological surfaces to oxide interfaces. So uh, I need to explain this long title, especially the first part. The second part, I guess, is, is more familiar. Uh, before I do that, I want to thank you all uh, for coming, especially our guests from abroad. Some of them are already here. Some of them are uh, on their way. And uh, we appreciate that um, the situation is not so uh, easy in the Middle East in general, in Israel in particular, and we are very happy that uh, you are all coming. So coming back to the title, uh, it uh, has to do uh, with the fact that uh, Tsinghua University of Beijing and Tel Aviv University started uh, some collaboration from a few years ago. And this collaboration includes uh, many activities. And uh, I think you will hear more about it uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, and part of that activity is this uh, Shin Center. So Shin should be the Chinese for new or innovation. People in the crowd uh, should correct me if I'm wrong. And uh, so uh, it has uh, the Tel Aviv branch of it, which sits at uh, the Nano Center. And uh, starting from previous year, uh, uh, they started a tradition of uh, having an uh, annual winter school. Last year it was on nanophotonics and was very successful. And this year we have it on topological insulators and oxide interfaces. And we hope it to be even more uh, successful. And uh, this new collaboration, sorry, with uh, Tsinghua is only part of the many things that are going on uh, on campus. So uh, I mentioned the Nano Center. The Nano Center is going to have a new building soon. Uh, we're actually sitting in an auditorium. It's the first time I'm here because uh, uh, building it was finished just uh, a couple of months ago. And I'm only two and a half years in Tel Aviv, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, fail to notice that uh, there are many new things going on, new faculty, new programs, new initiatives, new buildings, uh, etc. So uh, things look very nice and uh, maybe uh, I think that maybe part of the reason things are going uh, so nice here is that the university is uh, run by people related to physics. Uh, so a new addition to that is our a new rector, Professor Yaron Oz, who is a string theorist, and some people might consider that physics. But uh, more related to physics, we have uh, our president, Professor Yossi Klafter, uh, who is a chemical physicist or physical chemist. Uh, he will tell us which one he prefers. And uh, he is an expert in, in uh, stochastic processes, statistical uh, mechanics, and uh, soft condensed matter. And I would like to ask him to say a few words. Thank you very much. You didn't leave me a lot to say. You covered my CV. You covered uh, the achievements and so on. So good morning to everyone, to our Chinese uh, partners to all the guests from around the world, for our Israeli guests who are here. And uh, I'm really very glad to open this uh, 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 second international uh, winter school, uh, which is done under the framework of the Shin uh, Center, which is a, sh a center established between Tsinghua University and Tel Aviv University. Uh, I would like to say that uh, the idea to establish this uh, center came about when we started to look strategically what we do with the countries east of, uh, east of us. You know, traditionally, we in Israel, uh, we are connected, or still are connected, to the United States, to Europe, and it was clear that we have to look uh, also east of here. And I think many, many of the guests from abroad probably come from universities who also uh, are trying or have already succeeded to create some contacts in, uh, in, I would say, in the East, Far East, which means India, China. Here we are talking about China. So uh, different universities took 
different strategies, and we decided to look at the top layer of, of Chinese universities. Uh, China has 2,200 universities and colleges, and uh, the question is, how do you choose? Well, you go to the thing that we all like to admire if we belong to it, and to criticize if we are long. These are rankings. And uh, we uh, decided to really approach about 20, 25, uh, Chinese uh, universities, and uh, number one in the list was, of course, Tsinghua University. Uh, when our guests from Peking University come, I change the statement and say that Peking is number one. But here we have uh, Tsinghua University, which is actually really a, one of the leading universities there, if not the one. And uh, uh, we started to negotiate about how we really uh, create a relationship. And the idea was to do something which is unique. And here I must give some credit to uh, Professor Yael Hanin, who was really uh, working day and night, was not easy. And uh, we established the Shin Center, Shin or Sin, which is uh, actually new or innovative in Chinese, Mandarin Chinese. And the idea was to create a center around nanotechnology which trains the uh, next generation of researchers. Most of the burden, I would say, in the center would be on students that will be exchanged between the two uh, branches, Tel Aviv and uh, Beijing, uh, with mentoring, of course. Uh, and another point was really to uh, uh, try to create a fast or green line uh, uh, for innovations and really trying to move them fast into some commercial uh, and, and, and so on. So all this is very nice. Uh, the basic idea was the following, uh, to invest $300 million. Uh, most of the money will be, of course, in Beijing, and we will be the boutique, uh, 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 the boutique branch. Of course, size-wise, it's even justified. Uh, we are still not there, but, but, what really is the basis for all this is, of course, the scientific uh, meetings, exchange of students, writing papers together, and so on. And this is what makes the whole thing sustainable. And this is what ha is happening here uh, today. This is the second one uh, here in Israel. I participated, it was in the summer, right? Uh, in the, the summer school in uh, Beijing. And uh, this is going on, it's very good. And we still are looking for uh, the 300 million to uh, uh, accumulate, uh, but we are hopeful. This is how we are used to in the academic world. Yes, uh, we think big, we start small, but then uh, uh, we achieve it. So I'm very happy that all of you are here and uh, can only uh, uh, hope that you'll have a very enjoyable week and uh, hope that the Shin Center will continue to flourish. And thank you very much. Thank you. So actually, I think it's, uh, uh, it would be nice to remember that uh, in this week, uh, actually this night or tomorrow, we have the Jewish holiday of uh, Tu Bishvat, which is the new year for the trees or for the fruits. And it came to signify uh, blooming growth uh, and, and prosperity. And this, I think, fits very well uh, with all the things that uh, we have heard. Uh, so now, as I mentioned, uh, the Shin Center is uh, here part of the uh, Nano Center, headed by Professor Yael Hanin. And uh, some time ago, she came to Yoram and me with the suggestion that this year we organize an event centered around uh, the things we are interested in. So this is how uh, this meeting came about. She wanted it to be more like a school. We wanted more like a workshop. It came something in between, and I hope that uh, both uh, students and more experienced researchers will uh, enjoy the program. So first of all, uh, for some reason she's uh, moving to the back, but uh, we need to thank uh, uh, Yael. for the initiative and all the uh, support. And I would like to mention here that uh, Yael also, now she is in engineering, but she also started uh, some time ago in physics, in experimental physics. Uh, at the time, she was looking at uh, not interfaces of oxides, but rather of uh, semiconductors, heterostructures. She was working among other people uh, with uh, Dan Tsui, who is uh, known for the 
quantum Hall effect, the first uh, experimentally observed topological phase. Since then, she has moved to other uh, regimes more beneficial to humanity, like developing uh, artificial uh, retina to help uh, blind people gain or regain their eyesight. And also, she's heading our nano center, and we would like to invite her to say a few words. Okay, so I apologize for that, but in any rate, uh, it's 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 great uh, pleasure to to host uh, everybody here. Many uh, friends who've been uh, part of the Sheen effort, and many other friends. And my PhD advisor is sitting right there. I was running after him. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's a great opportunity, especially to host the students. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the Israeli weather, uh, this is as bad as it gets. So this is really extreme uh, winter conditions. So next time you consider your traveling plans, uh, keep that in mind. We hope the weather will get uh, better. But enough with greetings. I think we're all ready for physics. So have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll, we'll be very happy to see you all again. Uh, so before we uh, start actually with the uh, lectures, uh, basically uh, Yoram and I were serving as some kind of a scientific committee, but uh, we were not the real organizers. So I would like uh, to introduce to you the real organizers. So the one uh, you might be less familiar with is uh, Yuval. Uh, which uh, took care of much of the administration. And you probably all ho have already noticed uh, Mickey. So as I said, she is really the organizer. So if you have any trouble, any problem, uh, you could either come directly to her or you could come to your room and me and we will find her uh, for you. So thank you very much. And I guess this is time uh, to move to the scientific program. And we'll hear two talks today about uh, recent uh, discoveries with wild semimetals, uh, at least from the theory side. And the first one is going to be by uh, Adi Stern from the Weizmann Institute. <laughs> 